is doing a lot of work and giving them the advantage. They also have Judo, the wave bounced in top lane. He's able to get that first by freaking out. Yeah, they're going on in. Execute, though, trying to turn here on a Bulldog, but Raptor is super low. He's going to be the first one to go down. Bulldog should be traded, but they have to use so much to get him down, and Execute is left all alone, and Dusante is going to start off the game. You know, we've seen a lot of teams trading those early grubs for Dragon. Quandon Freaks, with that composition, definitely are happy that they've been able to get both. by is having a rough time. Yeah, uh, another Q's gonna land and ult online here. He is going to arcane shift easily out of that, but it, it's still gonna push him away as now. Look at this once again. In goes Raptor just following with a flash. They are very deep onto this one as now the Impale coming in. Big Way Ultimate though is going to take down the Rel and DeSante is just oh. so tanky. Can anyone kill him? The answer is no as Bulldog just gonna kill the rest of the enemy team as all the focus went on to the Fed Cassante and Quangong Freaks easily easily win the fight. And BNK Firax lose out so massively. Getting everything at this point. Yeah, and you know, we kind of said that the composition needs that momentum. You needed like the Nidalee to be ahead and stuff. This is exactly what you want. You know, you're securing these objectives, you win in these skirmishes. All the way in a big way. And uh... Big way? In a big way, yeah. Falling away as well. Um, that is a big way. It's pretty big. Execute is level 6 and is desperately trying to build a war monk. So that's the only item that supports can build. Um, Clear is just going to throw in the Impale, but he is being dove by three people, so I think eventually, yeah, they will just kill him under the turret, the Impale not mattering too much. Closer, meanwhile, is getting a free turret down on the bottom side. Though. Yeah, it's a consolation prize, but you know what? When I saw, oh, the ult clear the wave out, pretty nice to slow the pace he down. The corner freaks, and I was like, oh, this could be, oh, never mind, it's Andal. <laughs> The play's over. Yeah. I feel bad for Clay. It was actually a really nice ult, but just wasn't enough there. The tower, despite the delay from the Ziggs ult, just the damage delayed. being done there. From this, Ziggs gets a poke down on a Leaper. The dragon's getting lower and lower, though. The poke's still connecting. BNK Firex is a 5,000. Raptor might be looking for flash. Oh. Execute's flanking. Execute is just sending it. He's just going in there, and he's going to find Bulldog, who is in a bit of trouble now, as now we got two fights brewing here. Raptor tries to get the drink, but he can't. It's spite stolen away. And now Clear is being bullied here. Execute is going to go down. As now, Clear trying to set it up here, but that's Dusante once again. Andel has to flash away. They don't quite have the damage as Clear throws a rock and takes out the Rakan. Also, TP coming in. Bulldog wants some follow up, but Quantum Freak's already got the Drake. And they're just trying to push them away here and maybe get some more value with this Rifter. Yeah, they will. Oh, Penis super low after that pull. They will be able to defend the tower. Smite comes through. I honestly and think. Compared to the Ziggs. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they're just trying to control the river, but they don't really have a good option here. Andal's going to go in, as he does have Bulldog nearby. And that's a spear. Just the one spear. Good throw out the Nature's Grasp. Try to get something going on Andal, who is very caught, and they will be able to take him down. A lot of damage done into Raptor here on the follow-up, as well as Execute Closer, though. Says, hey, you don't have a front line. I can just jump into you. And, well, it, it kind of works there for a little bit. Now got to flash forward, but immediately just dies. And yeah, you, you heard my hesitation because I thought that was going to happen, and well, it did. He Fire died. This is a good spot for Ziggs to punish. You have a lot of poke in the pit. Andal's looking for the flank, though. Can they stop them? It's so low already. I think it's just gone. Yeah, I think I think it's just gone. Like, Hena is putting some damage in, but he's even running out of matter just a little bit. And you can see that Quantum Freaks, they're just going to back away. They got the objective. They don't need to overstay. Might rotate over to mid just to try to clear this one out, even throwing in a... Yeah, Hena needs like to be very well. careful. Just pushing a bit too far in any situation from behind, from ahead, doesn't really matter. Yeah. And closer, I think he feels the weight of, okay, you know, I'm in a good spot. I need to try to carry this one. And as now they're looking for a Leaper, but he's got Cleanse, and immediately the Disengage comes in. Down will go the Maokai, and Anzil does his job, provides that frontline. Bulldog wasn't even there, just got here. And, and that's 5v4 now. That's it, Jungler dead. It's an easy Hextech Dragon secure. The poke from Quantum Freaks is too threatening. Judo's taking a bit of damage there, but I don't think he really cares. Once Dragon secures, they're trying to do both. He's trying to take the and play. They're, and they're doing it. Yeah, I mean, they are, but now we got Leaper in a rough spot. He's going to go down, and this is getting real messy as now the Cassante is going to love to open up that back line here. Hannah desperate. He's like, please, someone help me. Down he will go, and that is an ace in favor of Quantum Freaks, plus the Hextech Soul.
This game is over, Ox. Yeah, absolutely. I don't see any way BNK Firax win from here. Uh, too much of a gold deficit. The Hex Soul as well. Suffocating with this composition. And Quantum Freaks came in with the game plan. And I think you can just look at the top of the screen. You can see the fact it's four towers, the, one barrel. The character actually moves, but the hitbox is the same. So it looked like it was going to hit, but it just doesn't. Penna's like, man, I thought I was going to be poking in this game. And he and was early on in the lane. Like the back line. Yeah, with four items. I mean, he got an early lead. He got those two kills in mid. And, you know, sometimes it could have been any champ, but it, it feels even more oppressive when it's Dusante. Oh, there he is. Look at the slow. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, he's just going to kill them all as that will go execute. He is now legendary, is the Cassante. And now oh just my. flashing on the Tristana, a Penta angle, but they're not going to give it to him. Kind of difficult to do on a melee champion anyway. But, oh, no, uh, the four Ziggs. Yeah, the Ziggs is just dead. I mean, there's nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. And clears as well. I guess I'm going to stop this mid lane from pushing in. But yeah, I mean, we talked about this five minutes ago. Quantum Freak's coming in, and now they're looking to actually end the game that they won quite a while ago. Yeah, and it's just super clinical game from Quantum Freak's. Uh, they got everything they needed to play the comp pretty much to perfection. I had some concerns about it, but I think this is just showing the difference in level of execution between these two teams right now. BK Firex for four kills the tower, and that was it. That was it. Extremely clean. that you'd say that. Not the the Grubbles. Grubbles is fine. Yeah. Uh-oh, execute. Yeah, he's just kind of in no man's land. He's Leona with Eclipse, so he will flash and get away. Now onto a little bit of trouble, but now Dudu's here, and Execute is not able to join the fight. So that's just the end of Raptor, this first blood. And Once again, just securing an early dragon, and the fact they're getting, well, this time the majority of the Grubs, and then also the first dragon, not ideal. To be in K Firex. Their objective control. Yeah, he got out of his chair and just took a little glance over. Yep. Man, lip reading is such a broken strat. <laughs> uh, yeah, this Garner's not in a great spot here as he will have to flash away. Now they're trying to turn on a dude who will have to flash himself, but the Nidalee with the spear and Cuz goes in, immediately gets dashed into, but he's getting so much value. Another spear oh. comes in, and Cuz is just dominating this 2v2 in the top side. Now a 3v3 as Bulldog looking for a bit more, doesn't have assault anymore, but and run away. And now he's yeah. half health. They are trying to force his dragon. They might just get it. They have. They might. I mean, Cuz is here, but he's not going to go into that one just yet. They're looking for the fight afterwards. It's now Cuz just 100 to 0 with the CC chain. And now the reset's coming in. Ondil in a lot of trouble. And he should go down as well. That's a couple of kills over to the side of BNK Fear X. You know, they didn't need to pick the Nidalee because Raptor can just. Kill. Well, you say that, but Skana's got that percentage <laughs> HP magic damage. That's true. The angle. Yeah. Well, Rift Herald gets some value here. Mid tier one is down. Actually, led by Leaper, who does hit that one. Now oh, let's. He's going for the drift? Yeah, let's see his driving skills. How deep is he going to go? He's just okay, going straight for the turret. Uh, well, he's going to bounce right into the enemy team. And now he has to cleanse. But you know what? He lives. And they got damage into the bottom turret. So not bad. No, I give that a C vision, but they didn't spot this ward behind them. This is a very isolated Skana, though. It is, and Ondil should be okay. I mean, he still has his ult himself, and look at this, Bulldog 1v2ing, the rest of the team just running away and clear. I mean, going to Flash, will go for the Impale, but that's Dusante, and the Ezreal ult is huge! Ondil is in the back line again, and immediately this fight is going to go the way of Kwangdong Freaks. PNK Firex, they thought they were flanking. And now the ult comes out, Closer has to flash away. It's just the cherry on top of everything else. Yeah, and now they can... Yeah. Um, the windows are for looking through, not necessarily going through them. And uh, Reaper will have to flash away from this one. He still has oh, his cleanse. Yeah, TP is coming in. And this one is Closer. He doesn't have flash, but he does have Spirit Rush, trying to get on top of Leaper here. And the Blast Cone is... Terrible for Leaper, and now the Zeri getting some resets, getting some space. They still want to try to take this in a 4v5 as Cuz goes in into five people. Bulldog looking for more, and the Wombo combo tries to come in, but Quango Freaks 
now they're the ones going through the window as BNK Phyrex gonna just shut them down in a huge way. Quantum Freaks overcommit. As now Cuz on the run here, not going to be living for very long. Yeah, they should just be able to chase him down. The hit gets connected from Raptor. There's nowhere to go. And you aren't killing this Viego. Uh, you aren't killing this Viego. Uh, wow. uh, he's definitely not killing this Viego. <laughs> not even close. Not even close, but <laughs> instead, looking towards the dragon and Bulldog has a bit of an angle here. He's pushing in that bot wave and then could maybe threaten a flank. Oh, no, no. The execute getting on in there. They do have the Zeri with a lot of tank. Dread, and that's going to be the end of the Dusante, not allowing him to start with his business. Now, Execute is low, but immediately the snowball is going the way of BNK Fear X. Cuz in a lot of trouble, has to try to back away, goes for the Zonyas. And now there's a lot of fights going on, but Cuz is going to go down, and it's five members now on the side of BNK Fear X, and they will win the fight. And you know, this has been a strategy that I feel like teams have been leading on more and more where the Cassante doesn't expect to be engaged on because he's Cassante, because he has that unstoppable W, and if you catch him off guard, you can just chain CC him to death. And it looks like the call from BNK Phyrex is jungler down, let's get the Baron, they lose the dragon, but it's, it's third, you can afford to do that, and the payoff is obviously much bigger here. Really nicely played from BNK Phyrex. It looked initially like Execute was caught out. Two, three months. But I have literally no idea. And I've never worked in game dev. Just completely <laughs> made that number up. Uh, but regardless, they managed to finish off that mid tower. And now move the pressure down towards bot. Dudu, hopefully a bit more ready for a CC engage on him this time. Well, offering over the W key. Looks like he is. He does have Merc Treads. Not sure if he had those before. The charm, though, comes down and immediately going to go unstoppable. And now Bulldog, a three man, all gets in there, but no follow up. Just a lot of poke coming down. As BNK Phyrex will have to evacuate the bottom lane here. 30 seconds on back. Yeah, not not the same window as they saw last time. Yeah, not quite. Damage, a lot of damage going into clear. Yes, the dragon goes the way of BNK Phyrex. As both are now on three, but in goes Execute. That's not a good engage. Not quite like the last one. And now the poke damage is raining down on a BNK Phyrex. They want to go for this fight as Dudu gets impaled, but they don't have anything else. And is dead. They don't have their Zeri anymore. And that is the biggest part of your team. Down he will go. Down will go clear. And I think BNK Phyrex are overextended. Quantum Freaks have found their angle. And you see Closer trying to go for a back here. Will be denied as well. Just that insult to injury. Goes into Zonyas. Flashes away. Maybe just trying to buy time. Either way, it's still Quantum Freaks. A massive fight Quantum in their favor. But doesn't get more from that. And as soon as BNK Phyrex lose their engage tool, start to lose the health. They want to end, really by the way. Out. Yeah, with the grubs as well, you can use them to tank the tower before the minions are even there. Yep. Oh, this is... They have five grubs. They take it so fast. Execute. Oh, execute. Can't do enough. Yeah, I mean, he can't deal with the champions, so this is actually pretty good, but it just doesn't matter as Quagdong Freaks will pull off the 2-0 to zero tonight. A huge team fight there on the Dragon, and they're able to pull it back. Definitely a big mistake earlier on.